from Olympic athletes to average Canadians, plenty of people have been struck by COVID this summer. If the science center is closed, where is... Toronto artist Leela Huack doesn't want to be one of them. I'm a person who wants to be vaccinated and protected against COVID at all times. She's hoping to get another dose as soon as possible and doesn't want to pass an infection on to her aging parents. I um, don't feel good about waiting. Health Canada told CBC News it's still reviewing new vaccines from several drug makers. We are aiming to complete the review process by early autumn, a spokesperson said. The most common question by far and away is, should I get my COVID vaccine now? This Toronto doctor is encouraging her patients to wait for those updated shots. Wait for that better matched vaccine, because chances are it's going to reduce hospitalization. American regulators already approved new COVID shots for the fall from both Pfizer and Moderna. They target one of the latest subvariants circulating this year. Even though the vaccines may not be perfectly matched to the variants that are circulation, for high risk people, it still probably makes sense to get vaccinated. COVID it continues to be a more dangerous virus than flu. And it's evolving faster than flu, too, U.S. health officials said last week. But we have some underlying protection because of past in, pa, prior infection, because of past immunizations. And so the severity of illness has decreased. Still, many experts recommend getting another dose this fall if it's been more than six months since your last infection or vaccine. All the data we've ever had for COVID shows that time since last vaccination is the most important thing in, in predicting if someone's going to get seriously ill or not. Certain groups also remain at a higher risk of severe disease, including people who are immunocompromised, pregnant, or dealing with underlying health conditions, and any older adults age 60 and up. Lauren Pelly, CBC News, Toronto.